The Islamic State is really the descendant of Al-Qaeda in Iraq, um, which began under Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. He took advantage of the disorder and disaffection amongst the Sunnis in Iraq after the U.S. invasion to establish this, this new group. The big thing that set Al-Qaeda in Iraq apart from a lot of the other groups was it became very well organized very quickly. And this did a variety of things for it. One, it made it efficient and very effective at, at mobilizing fighters and resources. Another thing, though, was it made it very difficult to destroy the organization by killing its leaders. The United States began targeting the leadership of a variety of resistance movements, very successful um, targeting some of them. Some other leaders fled the country. And when that happened to a lot of these groups, they simply collapsed, whereas Al-Qaeda loses leadership and is able to continue fighting. And this gives them a big advantage because they're then able to absorb some of the former fighters from these other groups. 2006, we managed to kill Zarqawi. The organization continues to get stronger and stronger, particularly in Western Iraq. The big downfall of the organization comes because it gets so strong, it starts fighting with a variety of local Sunni groups over things like resources. The big change is when these Sunni resistance groups align with the United States and begin cooperating with the United States. You have the phenomenon known as the Anbar Awakening. So this combination of, of locals with, with the U.S. is actually very effective in pushing uh, Al-Qaeda in Iraq out to the margins, but it still hangs in there, particularly around the city of Mosul. So uh, Al-Qaeda in Iraq officially changes its name to the Islamic State of Iraq uh, after the death of Zarqawi. They're trying to rebrand themselves a little bit as something broader than just Al-Qaeda. And in, of course, uh, Al-Qaeda in Iraq had had some falling out with uh, what people refer to as Al-Qaeda Central. So it, it rebrands itself as, as the Islamic State of Iraq and, and goes by that name. It's, it's still the same leadership. It's still sort of the same organization and tactic. The big rebirth comes with the fighting in Syria and the withdrawal of the U.S. from Iraq. The major distinguishing feature of the Islamic State has been its ability to organize effectively. You know, we take for granted that, that bureaucracy and standing operator procedure and hierarchy are, are bad things when we think about these issues, but in fact they're, they're incredibly important for organizations where leaders are being killed, where things are being destroyed. You need to be able to replace people and organize and, and marshal resources very effectively. Um, there, are, there are a few groups have, who have achieved this level of, of capability and they're all very dangerous. Yes, they're violent, but there are lots of violent extremists. Um, you can look at Boko Haram and other groups in, in Africa and the Maghreb. But the real distinguishing feature is they're not just violent, they're incredibly effective. If you think about it, they've been fighting uh, to at least some extent the Syrian government, the Iraqi government, the Kurdish Peshmerga, the Free Syrian Army, uh, and they've made progress on all of those fronts that really has only been blunted recently by the application of U.S. air power.